Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Pam and I make fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos that help you feel beautiful on the inside and out. Today, we are diving into the world of skincare. I wanted to try the Murad Rapid Age Spot and Lightning Serum. The serum has insane reviews online. Many, many people swear by it and I wanted to give it a try for myself. I had some acne spots that would not fade and I wanted to find a way to do that safely and affordably. This contains an ingredient called hydroquinone. I'm gonna go through a really quick, rapid speed science lesson on the history of hydroquinone and why sometimes people are afraid to use it and its controversial reputation. So hydroquinone has a reputation for being highly controversial. It's been around for about 50 years clinically, but it's actually been around since the 30s. It is the only thing on the market that can truly lighten and decrease hyperpigmentation due to acne scarring, melasma, or a variety of skin conditions. Controversial background stems from its ban in South Africa. At the time, hydroquinone was using a vehicle being used in the form of a ethanol vehicle. Well, when hydroquinone is paired with ethanol alcohol, it can be damaging for the skin. It can hyper bleach the skin in certain areas and leave some long-term negative results. But because of that ban in South Africa, the European Union followed suit and they quickly banned it as well. Now that left a population of people who really wanted a lightening and brightening cream left to resort to their own resources and they started to purchase it online and those hydroquinone samples that were coming in from online were highly convoluted with a lot of toxic ingredients that had a lot of reparable damage. But in terms of clinical studies and effectiveness, hydroquinone is not dangerous and it shouldn't really have this negative reputation. So you don't have to worry about any of those toxic side effects. Now, just to point out something that can happen is a negative side effect that commonly takes place in other countries. And that is called exogenous ochronosis. And really that just means that every once in a while, there will be a patient that has a rash that forms and it's really dark and it's deeply rooted into the skin and it can cause a lot of discomfort physically and emotionally. But what most people don't know is that that rash is not equated to the use of hydroquinone. That is actually typically found in patients that are already on an anti-malarial drug or in some cases L-DOPA, which is a Parkinson medication. And the likelihood of that happening is really slim. Also in those cases, the patients were not using the US approved version of hydroquinone. They were using the convoluted form that is legally purchased overseas. But with the negative side effects out of the way, let's get into how hydroquinone works. Hydroquinone limits the amount of melanin production in the skin. Melanin, when it's clustered together, is what causes that hyperpigmentation, those dark spots, that melasma, and that discomfort coloration in our skin. Hydroquinone intervenes to slow that process and slightly reverse it. Therefore, we get lightened acne scars. Over the counter, this can be purchased at a 2% level, which I personally find really effective. You'll see in this vlog coming up. But if you find that you have some really deep rooted hyperpigmentation and the 2% isn't going to cut it for you, you can go to your doctor and get a 4% or something of that nature. With consistent use within 8 to 12 weeks, you will notice a drastic reduction. I personally found incredible results within four days and Murad actually claims that 85% of the people that use this notice a difference in one week. Now, if you are going to dabble into the world of hydroquinone or any skincare for that matter, it is really important that you use an SPF of 30 or higher and reapply often. If you are not combating sun damage and future hyperpigmentation with an SPF product, this really is gonna be pointless for you. So make sure you're applying your SPF. Something else to know about hydroquinone is that it's important that it's in a container that limits its exposure to oxygen. Oxygen can actually degrade the potency of this. So you wanna make sure this is airtight. And if you're nervous about trying hydroquinone, there are some plant-based alternatives, alpha arbutin, is another alternative to hydroquinone that breaks down to hydroquinone in the skin. And it's also a key ingredient that I think you're going to see a lot in the rest of 2020 and 2021 skincare. I want to leave you with one final science fact about hydroquinone. And it is that when you go to search for hydroquinone and potential negative side effects, or you want to dig deeper onto why this is such a controversial ingredient, you're gonna see a lot of articles about how this can cause cancer, how it's toxic for your liver, and how it can damage your kidneys. A lot of the studies that those articles are based upon are talking about lab rats. And a lot of those lab rats had pre-existing conditions in, in which they were going to get cancer irregardless of their usage of hydroquinone or their administration of hydroquinone. And our body is actually made to break down hydroquinone. It's found in a lot of foods that we eat like coffees, breads, teas, and applying this topically still produces a really low systemic rate of absorption. So you guys, we are safe. This is not toxic. And then we're going to jump straight into the vlog. Hello, I am gonna try out the Murad Environmental Shield Rapid Age Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. You guys, this is a controversial product because it has hydroquinone. Hydroquinone can be known to bleach the face and leave um, bleached spots on the skin. I'm nervous, but this says that 85% of people saw lighter spots, don't know why I said that so weird, within one week. So you know what, we're gonna try it. 
I've got some hyperpigmentation here and here and the directions say to massage it all over the skin evenly. I'm nervous about that because I actually have natural freckles. This is not hyperpigmentation. I actually have natural freckles and I don't want those to go away, but we're just gonna try it. Um, I've done my skincare. I've just done a really basic cleanse. I don't have any moisturizer on and I have not applied any acids because I don't want to have any type of reactions or interactions with this. Okay, so it comes in this, well, I got the smaller version because we're just trying it out. So it comes in this cute little bottle right here. And all right, we're just gonna pump some out. All right, I'm gonna like, oh my God, it smells like very chemically. Maybe I won't do this for seven days in a row because that's scary, but we'll try it. Okay, so I have no acids on my face. Immediately, I'm feeling a little like interaction right here. Maybe I had a, a like pending break out there that I didn't know about. It stings a little bit. I'll take a little bit on my forehead, through the center of my face, and then down my neck. So we're gonna let this soak in overnight and I will check in with you guys in the morning and we will see uh, what this looks like after day one. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hello, it is Tuesday and this is my makeup without any skin. I mean, this is my skin without any makeup. Oh my God, I need coffee. I just used that Murad spot treatment last night. So this is like day one and I wanted to show you a better lighting because I think my bathroom lighting is a little on the yellow side. So this is what it looks like so far i don't notice a big difference when i get really close for you guys this is kind of where i feel like i have these two acne scars that just won't fade these were natural freckles and i also have like a scar here so we're going to use this again tonight because i have really not sensitive skin so i can take quite a bit of um of a beating from like acids and treatments and stuff like that so we're going to try the murad spotman treatment again i'm about to film and i'm about to do my makeup for that so i'm going to throw some makeup on top of this, and then I'll check in with you guys after my makeup's done to see if using something that strong affected the way my makeup settled, because that's also a really big indicator for me. But so far, um, my skin feels good, but it's not like, it's not as good as it feels like whenever I use the Polish Choice 2% BHA exfoliator. And my skin doesn't feel like it's like lighter or bleached in any way, so that's a good thing. One thing I will say that I noticed, I immediately after applying it, my skin, fingers started to feel really dry really peely and I washed my hands with soap but there is some peeling on my finger um, just from applying it because it, it is a 2% solution and I think that is the strongest that you can get over the counter so just be aware of that um, that if you don't wash your hands immediately you will start to experience peeling because I did and I needed to take out my contact lenses I had to wash my hands several times with soap before I took out my contact lenses because I was nervous to stick my finger in my eye so anyways this is day one of seeing how our skin is with the Murad overnight spot treatment. Hi, okay, it is, well, really, it's supposed to be Tuesday night. This is supposed to be my Tuesday night check-in and it's Wednesday morning because I just got done editing a video and putting the final touches on it. And I can tell you that the makeup looks insane. It looks so good. I have a photo that I took on my phone using the front cam, no edits, skin looks flawless. How it feels is different. On the other hand, I feel like it's a little tight, a little dry, I feel a little dehydrated. I'm probably gonna go in with less product tonight. So I'm about to shower. I have to shower before I go to bed. It doesn't matter what I did that day. I just like have to rinse off before I get into bed. So I'm gonna shower, do my skincare, pop a little bit of that on, and then we'll do a, um, a check-in right before I go to sleep. And then a check-in in the morning with no makeup. And that'll be day two. See you in a little bit with no makeup, pajamas, glasses, you know. We're about to take all this off. Attractive, I know. So I wanted to like put this all over my face just like I did yesterday. I'm a little nervous because my skin definitely felt a little bit more tight and a little bit more dry today. And I'm gonna take these off because like the light is so distracting. Looking at my face without makeup on. Yeah, obviously it's like one day. I'm Okay, I have to tell you. I'm the type of person that like does 10 calf raises and then goes and looks in the mirror to see if her calves look bigger. So of course I'm like expecting this to like work immediately. I didn't use any acids on my face. I did double cleanse because I had makeup on. So let's just pop a little bit. I'm gonna like try to minimize the amount I'm putting on because I think it went a little crazy last night. Clear jelly consistency. Yeah, I think that's probably the amount I should have put on last night. And I think I put on like triple that amount, so. Okay. I'm gonna go wash your hands with soap to get this off because I can already feel it drying. And we're gonna wake up in the morning and we'll do another skin check tomorrow morning. Good morning, it is, is it Wednesday? It is Wednesday morning. So I am getting ready. I have to go into the hospital today. Um, I'm not a frontline worker. 
and I really appreciate those who are work on the consulting side but I do wear scrubs when I go just so that I can like throw them off whenever I get home and throw them in the washer but I want to recap my skin okay so I used less product yesterday and I noticed something else I put almond oil underneath my eyes and like it's something I've like sworn by for years and I had a little bit of residual almond oil on my hands when I applied the Murad and it was a lot more gentle on my skin. I think I needed that extra hydration to like be a buffer because that treatment is really harsh. So if you want to maybe put your moisturizer down first on your skin and then go to the Murad if you're nervous about having a reaction and then obviously use less product, which I was a lot less generous last night and my skin just feels a lot better today. A lot less tight, a lot less irritated and I'm not just like craving moisturizer right now. I mean, I want it because I just woke up and rinsed my face. All I do in the morning is splash my face with water. But yeah, it's, I don't know if it's in my head, I kind of think it's a little lighter. So this is, um, tonight will be the third night of applying it. And then Monday we'll make a full week. Today's Wednesday. So we're just going to keep documenting. Anyways, we're going to get ready for the day, but I go on some makeup. I'm really just going to focus it through this part because obviously I'm going to have a mask on, but let's go. Hey you guys, I am getting ready for bed. It is Wednesday night and I just cleansed my face. I used a salicylic acid toner because I had quite a bit of makeup on today. The moment I took my mask off, I got bit by a mosquito. So that this right here is not a blemish. <laughs> it is a really intense bite. And I had to go to lunch with a coworker today and we went to a restaurant that I've never eaten at before. And I, it's fast casual. We weren't like fine dining or anything, but it is not sitting well with me. So I'm gonna make this really short. I have a little bit of almond oil on my hands um, just to kind of buffer the Murad spot treatment and I'm going in with a really tiny amount again. And I'm just going to quickly work this on my face, wash my hands and then go lay down because I'm just not feeling good. The food did not sit well with me, but I do feel like it's lightening. I haven't been using any other chemical exfoliators except for salicylic acid today. So if it has lightened in any way, then that is completely this Murad spot treatment. So I'm gonna get this pushed in the skin and then I'm gonna go lay down because I don't feel good. We'll check in in the morning. Good morning. I had such a bad, I'm not gonna say I had a bad night. It just was not a good night. My stomach was so in so much pain from this food that I ate. I didn't get sick. I didn't get nauseous. I didn't throw up. Is, anyways, I did not give you a lot of notes last night because I was in pain, but I feel a lot better today. I haven't eaten yet. I'm just drinking my water and my coffee. My skin, which is why you're here, is uh, feeling a lot better today. I didn't wake up with that feeling that I needed moisture. Sometimes I do when I can just feel in my skin. I'm like, oh, I'm like craving moisture. I don't really feel that way. I do feel like the medication has penetrated my skin in a way that it does feel different. And every time that I try a new skincare item, I always have a little bit of reaction right here. This is like a little patch. I wouldn't say it's eczema and it's just a little, little texture right here and like a little itchy and irritated. So when I apply the Murad Spot treatment tonight, I'm not gonna put, put it right here. I'm really just gonna focus it like through here where I tend to have scars and breakouts and stuff like that. And the skin through here is just a little bit more resilient. The center of my face is a little more delicate and scars a lot. But yeah, so far it's looking, it's looking pretty decent. I'm looking in the monitor at it. But yeah, I'm so far pleased with it. I think that I would incorporate this into my normal skincare routine. I just would not do it every day. And I go do my makeup and I'm getting ready to film a skincare video. And then that'll be up tonight. This is Thursday and this is the fourth day. Hey guys, it's 6.45. I've had my makeup on for about five hours now. So I just wanted to show you that I thought my skin would be overly dry at this point with the Murad and it's not. Um, I'm finishing my retinol video right now that I'm editing and I didn't discuss using this and that because I didn't want to confuse the, the audience. But anyways, super impressive with makeup so far. So uh, I'm gonna wash it off in a little bit, go to the gym and um, I'll show you my skin tonight. I actually think the scar is lighter. You guys, this spot has significantly, significantly lightened. I'm pretty blown away by this. This is definitely something that's going to be worked into my normal skincare routine. I have a little almond oil in my hands. I need that oil to kind of buffer it because when I didn't um, have it on before, I think the first time I put it on, it was really, really drying. So I'm just taking a little bit. We're just gonna uh, pop this on. That's kind of dark too, but I don't see it as much because I'm always like that. This one though, that's the one I was like really concerned about. Yeah, I am like loving this. I am loving the way my skin looks. I'm gonna probably do this like every other night and I'll like rotate with my retinol just so that I don't like mix the actives. But yeah, I'm like very pleased with this. So, so happy. I cannot wait to see what this looks like in seven days. Um, My stomach is murdering me from the inside out. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Hello, you guys. 
So I didn't do a morning check-in. I We woke up really early, went to the gym, and the moment I came home, I hit the road with working with my, my full-time job. And so I just was so inundated with work all day and then just felt really mentally exhausted. Washed my hair, but didn't like even straighten it. <laughs> like this is what it is just with the Revlon air dryer, the round brush dryer. So you can see I have like a natural curl right here. This is just the fob wave that you get. But I wanted to just finish my nighttime skincare with you guys and show you this spot because it's 100% getting lighter. So we're just gonna pop a little bit more on and work that into the skin. So it's Friday night, tomorrow, Sunday, and then Monday will be our day seven. We're just gonna take a look at everything, but I'm so impressed with this. Yep, that is 100% getting lighter. Love it. I didn't wear makeup today. Um, I worked from home all day, but I didn't wear makeup, so I didn't have to go in with like hardcore cleansers. I just kind of did like a light cleanse. Got the dirt from the day off my face, but this still feels really nice and because i have a little moisturizer on before i put this on it kind of is buffering it a little bit it's not just like a direct freshly cleansed skin with nothing on and then the mirad because when i did that the first day i felt like it was too harsh so definitely recommend putting a little moisturizer down first but yeah all right we're almost to the end of our journey and our scar is lighter so that's a huge deal i'm gonna get to bed all right you guys this has gone down so much that it's almost unbelievable. I just showered again because we went for a walk and I was like kind of sweaty and just did my nighttime skincare routine and this scar is insane. This one's pretty light as well. I, I wasn't monitoring this one as much just because it's like tucked underneath there. This is the one that we were really looking out for but overall I just feel like my complexion is brighter. I filmed a video today where I literally put all of my setting sprays to the test. I did a full breakdown on all of them and I put them all on my face and by the end of the video and throughout the rest of the night my face just felt really dry and it was really textured and gross because I had layered like every setting spray that I owned. So I was nervous about the condition of my skin when I took my makeup off, but it actually isn't bad. Like I'm looking at it in the monitor and it, I thought it would be like really, really textured and really irritated. And I thought that the skin would, or the scar would be accentuated, but it's not. So we're in a good place, you guys. Um, Saturday night, actually it's past midnight, so technically Sunday morning, but this is a Saturday night check-in and um, we'll check in tomorrow morning, see how it does overnight. Hello, look at this clip. <laughs> um, I am letting a lot of my different retinol serum dry on the outer edges of my face. I wore quite a bit of makeup the last two days and I wore a mask for quite a, a long time and I just felt like the texture on the outer edge of my face was like really starting to pop up. So I just need to get ahead of it and I do feel like the hydroquinone Mirad spot treatment is doing its job and that it's really reducing the pigmentation. So I thought that today would be a nice day just to like take a, take a break from it and see what happens overnight because I really need the, the retinol. Um, I didn't put it directly on to the zit, so I will actually just spot treat that little area with not too much product, but just getting a decent amount on there. I'm just gonna, using my monitor as a mirror, just put a little on there just to further fade it, but I don't want it to have any type of like interactions with the retinol. So, we're, and I use the salicylic acid cleanser and toner, so it's kind of a lot of acids, but I did wear light makeup this morning and I felt like the scar would have normally peaked through quite a bit of that foundation, but I felt like it was significantly decreased. It's really, really lightening up nicely, but I guess today's focus and maybe tomorrow night too is really gonna be the, the acne and the texture. Anyways, so we're gonna go to bed. I've got to get up and go to the gym at 5 a.m. So we'll see you tomorrow morning. Hello. So we are on day seven of trying the Murad Rabbit Age Spot treatment and we are going to pop it on this little bad boy right here. This guy's gotten picked on so much. Rub that in. So I did a lot of retinol, or not a lot, but I did a full piece of like my different last night because I just felt like I had acne like popping up from wearing a mask with makeup. Now that I feel like that's all cleared up, we're just gonna pop this on and this will be day seven. So I'm going to also upload footage of me discussing the results so that you can see my final thoughts on everything and the science behind um, how this product actually works and you know you know I'm gonna give you some science so anyways that is it. So as you can see by day four I found that I had dramatically reduced hyperpigmentation. Not only did I feel like my scar was getting lighter but I actually felt that the circumference around the scar was shrinking as well. This was really easy to incorporate into my skincare routine. I do foresee myself using this in the future and one thing to note is that if you don't continue to use it on a regular basis your hyperpigmentation may come back. So you just want to make sure that you use this every day every other day and a little bit of it goes a very long way. I'll catch up with you guys next time. Bye.